Hello friends, welcome to How to VLAN channel. This is DBA VLAN stream. Today in this video, we are going to see how to install PG Batcher. It's a Oracle's AWR kind of utility for Postgres. Let's get started. So as usual, um, we have the instructions on how to perform this, but what did I do is I already tried installing it. And uh, <coughs> so I have all the logs. I'm going to just walk you through that. So the PG Batcher installation manual can be found here. This is nothing but the uh, website of the uh, author of this PG Batcher tool. So you can go take a look at here. This is the installation manual. It's not big. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's very straightforward. But I'm just going to show you an alternate route. All right. So download the the first step is to download the PG Batcher from GitHub, and the URL is this. You go to the GitHub, and this is the uh, author's github uh, repository and you have options to download this as zip file and the op option to clone the repository I tried the cloned repository option because it was very simple I don't need to download or keep any files so I didn't follow the star.xgf because I don't have any tarball of the pg batcher utility instead <coughs> I created a directory called make um, pg batcher and then I cloned the repository and then I ran the perl command and the make command. I faced a couple of issues during the installation which I will walk you through it now. The first step I did was the git clone repository and I, I'll show you here. So yeah you can see here I did the cloning of the git app repository pgbatcher.git so this is already downloaded here and I can you can see all the files listed here all right and the next step you need to run the make command during the make command of the Perl the make command creation you will probably get this error if you do not have the development package of the Perl you see here this error will come up all right so to fix that issue all you need to do is yum install Perl development. I'll put all this instruction in my blog. You can, f you will find the URL for my blog in the YouTube video description. You can pick it up from there. So when you install this, the development package gets installed, and then you can retry the um, Perl make command creation. So this make will creation is completed. You can see here it is successful. Once that's done. You need to compile the binary. This make command you need to launch. So once when you launch it, if you launch it as Postgres user and if the Postgres user does not have sudo use, sudo write, then you will get an error like this. And for that, what did I do as a workaround is I launched this make command as a root user itself and it returned fine with the return code zero. Alright. So these are the challenges you will face and this is how you will fix it. So, so I'll walk through the issues again one more time. The first issue you will face is the Perl command to create the make file. To fix it, you need to run install the Perl development package. And the second issue you will face is if you do not have sudo, it's right for the Postgres user. You probably better launch this as make command as root. Once this is done, you should be able to access your PG Badger binary fine. Before you install, this binary will not be accessible. But after you install, this binary should be visible in user local in PG Batcher. And then this is the help manual. And you can try launching the help manual and you will get something like this. So you see here, <coughs> PG Batcher help, and you will see something like this. All right. So I'll see you in the next video where I'll talk about the PostgreSQL configurations for um, utilizing the maximum benefit of PG Batcher and also. I'll show you one stress test video involving PG Batch. So, I mean, stress test PG Batcher, not PG Batcher. We'll do a PG Benchmark and then uh, check how PG Batcher is useful. Thank you.